Hey everyone, Alex is here from Lidofins and this video is going to be about blade lengths and angles. So Lidofins offers 80 cm blades, which is standard, 70 and 60 cm blades and two angles, 20 degrees, which is standard and 33 degrees. Lidofins has introduced 70 and 60 cm blade lengths and 33 degrees angle in the beginning of 2020 and at the moment they're only available for pure carbon fiber, Abyss Pro and metallic blades. We'll see how the sales go and maybe in the future we'll add these options for other blades as well. But enough of that, let's talk about differences. So here in front of me I have 20 degrees blue camo blade and 33 degrees Abyss Pro blade. Now both of them are fiberglass and have medium stiffness. You can see a difference between 20 degrees and 33 degrees angle from the side. So what are the advantages of a bigger angle? A bigger angle makes the blade feel softer and that's physics. Don't want to confuse you with too much details here. Also 33 degrees is a bit closer to the natural angle of your ankles when you're walking or running and this makes it more comfortable to swim with such blades. It's still not the same as walking though, but you get the idea. And you may think that 13 degrees is not a big difference, but I can assure you that it's quite noticeable in the water. So altogether, all these factors make swimming more comfortable, reduce fatigue, and hence you can swim longer. Bigger angle can be a good choice for people who like diving for long periods of time or who have to swim longer distances in order to get to their free diving or spear fishing spot. And also for those who have problems with ankles. However, big angle has its disadvantages, and the main one is performance deterioration or performance drop. Bigger angle makes the blade slower, less reactive and causes a small delay during the kick. In other words, with 20 degrees angle, the blade works almost immediately when you kick, but the 33 degrees, there's a small delay. If you have blades with different angles, you can test that out in the water by doing small kicks. You should easily notice the difference. And to demonstrate. Let's start with the 33 degrees Abyss Pro blade. Let's make an arch. Remember the bend. And let's do the same with 20 degrees blade. You can see that the bend or arch is very different. Now let's test them. First up, 33 degrees blade. And now 20 degrees blade. You can see that 20 degrees blade is quicker and more reactive. Also with 33 degrees blade your kick amplitude would have to be wider in order to produce the same amount of thrust. Let's talk about different lengths. So here on the table I have three pairs of pure carbon fiber blades. Standard 80 cm blade with red ribs 70 cm blade with blue ribs and 60 cm blade with white ribs. The length of the blade affects the stiffness and also the way how the blade works. Different lengths were introduced mostly for professionals and the idea here is that the blade length is selected according to the person's height. So shorter blades for shorter divers and longer blades for taller. For non-professionals standard 80 cm blade is a perfect choice. An advantage of the shorter blades is that they're more convenient to use in shallow waters with lots of reed and seaweed, like lakes and ponds. Simply easier to maneuver. They're also good for snorkeling and much easier to transport in your car or in your suitcase, if for example you're traveling by plane. Shorter blades are quicker and more reactive than longer ones, and let me show you why. Let's create a new term and call it kick transfer time, which is the time it takes to transfer the force from your kick from here, beginning of the blade, to here, blade tip. So when you kick or apply a force, the blade starts to bend at the beginning, over here. And this bend has to go all the way to the tip to give you thrust and propel you forward. And this distance is shorter for shorter blades, which results in a less kick transfer time. This makes shorter blades springy and more reactive. The blade tip starts working much sooner this may seem like a small difference, but again, you'll definitely notice it in the water. 
And one of the major drawbacks of shorter blades is higher energy consumption, because you have to make more kicks comparing to longer blades. Maybe not twice as many, but still. Despite all that, blade angle and length choice depends on your swimming technique and personal preferences. And that concludes this video. If you liked it, please click that like button and consider subscribing. Thanks for watching and see you next time.